Hey now, it's Lil Paulette And I got a question for you guys But you saw the thumbnail Do y'all remember Homie the Clown? It was played by Damon Wayans on that show in Living Color If you old enough to have watched that show Is Martell A.K.A. Clown Tell A real life Homie the Clown y'all Y'all remember how Homie the Clown went around Bopping them kids on the head Adults kid, Well it was adults playing kids But It was kids Adults He didn't give a damn it, He made them sing Remember how he made them sing and stuff <laughs> Like whatever he said Whatever he was mad about, he made them repeat it and sing it back to him. Wow, that article in the U.S. Sun by Diane Cooper might say hell to the yes. Martell is a real life homie to clown, y'all. We'll be back to talk about it. Hey now, feeling generous? My cash app is in the comments. Also, it is in the description. And also, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link is there as well. It's also in the picture. Um, both of them are together. Any donations to the channel would really help me with editing and software. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, so in my opinion, that's exactly how Clown Tail acts towards his kids when they don't um, love on AC the same way they love on Mel. He bopping up upside the head, maybe not literally because he can't anymore. But if he had his way, he would um, every time they aren't showing the same um, excitement or whatever it is that they show towards Mel, that they're not doing it with AC. I really do believe that. And in my opinion, he only wants that so that he can say that um, the kids like AC better than they like Mel, just so he can like throw it in Mel's face for no other reason. I really do believe that. What do y'all think? Because he keeps insinuating that Mel is a bad mother. But if he can get those kids to like AC, then he could throw it in her face and say she's a bad mother. This is just what I think. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when the next video comes out. So I know by now everybody has probably read the article. But I just want to go over it myself for my subbies. It is in the U.S. Sun. The article is by Diane Cooper. And it was published on February 5th, 2024. It says Love and Marriage Huntsville's. Martel Holt has been ordered to undergo a psych evaluation after his ex has accused him of abusing their kids. The U.S. son can exclusively reveal. Okay, goes on to say Martel 42 and Melody's divorce battle has gotten even more nasty as Melody 38 has grown more concerned about her about his alleged erratic behavior and inappropriate treatment of their children. They got a picture of this clown in this black and white tuxedo. Ugh, I can't stand him. Mel looking good in her blue sweatsuit from the other day. As of December 14, 2023, the court has ordered Martell to undergo a psych evaluation after the mom of four filed a motion demanding he submit a psychiatric ex examination <laughs> and evaluation ahead of their trial in April. <laughs> what 
the I can't even talk. According to Alabama court documents, exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun, Melody informed the court that the mental, psychological, and emotional stability of the father is at issue. Mm. The filing stated, based on the father's erratic behavior at the minor children's school, practice, and other public places, as well as his inappropriate unhinged and erratic behavior towards the mother and the minor children a thorough and complete mental examination and eval of the father is essential to the court's decision regarding important issues in this case regarding child custody and visitation mm. she argued that his actions are detrimental to the physical emotional and mental well-being of the children and fears that the children have already suffered emotional damage as a result of Martel's rape and erratic behavior. Everything that all the content creators and subbies have been saying. Everything we've been saying. Okay, in the same filing she claimed Sheree Whitfield's ex continued to use corporal punishment against their minor children. <laughs> minor children. <laughs> Wait a minute, why they gotta throw Sheree's name in there knowing that was fake? She gave an example that on December 11, 2023, he allegedly threatened to tear them up once their divorce case is over referring to their minor kids and said in a separate filing from December 14th that he even offered to allow the children to be on the television show Love and Marriage Huntsville if he could use corporal punishment in the future. Yeah, that's what this dusty ninja said. If I can whoop them, you can go on and let them tape. Have you lost your damn mind? The formal couple had four children together daughters Malia, Mariah, Milani and son Martel Jr. The TV personality is also the father to another child son Knox with the woman who has been identified as his mistress Coleslaw he ain't saying her damn name they gonna put her name in there now you know her head is blown up okay it says third time's a charm even though the ex's divorce was initially finalized in March of 2021, they went back to court the following year to modify their custody agreement. Although everything was thought to be resolved, Melody filed a new petition in July 2023 to modify legal custody in the visitation schedule, mainly due to Martel's alleged mental and emotional abuse of the minor children. Okay. Now, I don't know if everybody knows this, but when you have kids and you get a divorce for every single thing, you have to go back and modify it. At least in New Jersey, I had to. And it looks like Mel has to do it in Alabama as well. So that includes child support, anything. You don't go to the regular child support. You go back and you have to modify your divorce. It is a real pain in the butt. Okay, let's go on. In the filing obtained by the U.S. Sun, the Behind Every Man host claims her ex continues to use corporal punishment that is excessive and abusive towards the minor children, including but not limited to choking, grabbing, punching the minor son, hitting all the children, pulling and twisting them. AC, you sitting around watching Martel do this to kids and you not saying nothing? You ain't worth the spit it takes to cuss you. You really ain't. You ain't worth the spit it takes to cuss you. Because guess what? Knox is next. Knox is next. He going to be doing the same thing to Knox. And there ain't going to be no court there to intervene because y'all not married. And you ain't going to tell nobody, obviously. Let's get back. The father has refused to follow the court order as he has stopped therapy between him and his minor son. And as we heard him say, I think it was on, on Queen Sheba's interview, that his son didn't need therapy. He just needs his father. Sound just like a dusty. The following content continued. 
The father continues to incorporate corporal punishment on the minor children that only want to see their father if he will stop hitting them. Yeah, when I first heard that, that made me cry. She also said he exhibited behavior that has been negligent and unstable. I guess that's when he left him in the restaurant to argue with uh, Jacqueline and Mouth. And has shown a lack of proper parenting when it comes to the care of his minor children during his custodial times. Yeah, not having food and lights. Dusty. In addition, she gave examples of some of his threats, including reportedly saying he will knock them out. Ooh, child. Clown tail. Please don't make me have to put on the cat suit. Because I'm saying it in a video. But see, I'm not no punk. So I'm saying it in a video. Please don't make me have to put on no cat suit and come out there and beat your ass. Because I'm going to have somebody videotaping it while I beat your ass. And it's going to be all over the internet. And you can sue me all you want because I ain't got shit. Please don't make me come out there and beat your ass. Because I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you messing with Mel. I'm tired of everything that you do. I'm tired of your lies. I'm tired of your narcissism. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you messing with them kids. I'm sick of you. Anyway. Apart from being concerned about the children's mental well-being, she said that she's concerned about Martel's mental stability since he continues to relocate, has violated previous court orders, and has even threatened to distribute a revenge pee tape that the parties created during their marriage. Given all this, she requested the court only allow him daytime visits with the kids until he enrolls in therapy and anger management. Then it says Martel fires back. Martel responded to Melody's filing four months later in November and also filed a counterclaim against her. Instead of addressing the motivational, instead of addressing the motivational speaker's specific corporal punishment claims, he instead claims she is the one who willfully and contemptuously violated the order by spanking the minor child, age three. Sugar Mama. He also said that she filed the modification in bad faith and with unclean hands, exclaiming she has continuously filed frivolous, untruthful motions so she may be in control of all the decisions regarding the minor children. I don't know why they keep calling him a star. The dusty star goes on to accuse they put Melanie, it should say Melody, of violating her agreement of not filming their children and also posting them on social media, which is a goddamn lie. Always lying. Always deflecting and projecting. He claimed her bringing him into the spotlight has financial gains since she believes it is in the best interest of the children to be filmed as it will provide their economic provide them with economic opportunities in her december response melody diane melody not melanie denied his frivolous accusations in reference to the spanking and as for the economic opportunity she says she believes in affording the children with every opportunity that is beneficial and desirous of the children and adding in their success in life until their April trial, the court has ordered the formal couple to attempt to resolve their issues through mediation. The U.S. son has reached out to Melody and Martel's attorneys for comments. Okay. Then it says, shocking arrests. After all this went down in court, news broke that Martel was arrested for third degree domestic violence and harassment on January 9, 2024. According to TMZ, he had a warrant out for his arrest after allegedly sending harassing communications to his accuser, who has not been identified, dated back to August 2022. He was booked in Madison County Sheriff's Office and was, and was released about three hours later after posting bond. His publicist told the media outlet at the time, Martel Ho adamantly denies any intentional harm or harassment towards the accuser 
Oh, poor me. I never meant. I didn't mean it that way. Oh, no, not me. Oh, why is she doing this to me? Fuck out of here. We believe that these allegations are the result of a misunderstanding, and we are confident that the legal process will ultimately vindicate Mr. Hopeless. Martell remains committed to being a devoted father and maintaining a positive and healthy co-parenting relationship with Miss Rogers and Miss Coleslaw, or should I say Miss Law, for the well-being of their children. The statement continued, despite the challenges presented, Martell will continue to focus on his role as a responsible parent and contri contribute positively to his community. When and where, publicist Martell is due in court next month to address this matter. Dusty bitch. And they go, they show all these pictures of Martell, Melody, the kids, and even, um, uh, what's her name? The fake one, Sheree. So, yeah. I just, that's the end of the article, y'all. So, what do y'all think about this article? I am just... I'm just happy to see that it's not just us that can see what's going on and other people can see it, you know. That's really what I'm happy about. I'm really, really happy about that. And um, another thing I wanted to talk about. Now, you know what? I'm going to save that for the next video. But um, thank y'all so much for showing up for my videos. I appreciate all the support. Um, I'm trying to figure this thing out, get my momentum and figure out, you know, how I'm going to do this. So thank you so much for being with me. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. All right. Thank you. Peace. I'd like to kiss you, but I just washed my hair. Bye.